The New Eden Mall should be ahead of me, but watch it. Mayor Callahan's on some kind of campaign drive about. A few streets away, so there are roadblocks all over the place. Welcome back, everybody. This was probably my least favorite level of the entire game. It starts off just trying to get to the mall. When you get to the bottom of this pipe, if you look to the right, you'll see that pipe over there, and she'll even start to reach for it, which may make you think you should jump for it. But you cannot reach it from here, and you can't really look any further down than what I am. So unless you happen to have looked to the left and down first, you may not realize that you're over a safe place to drop down, and that from here you can get to the pipe. I've played this level some while I was recording and having problems with the audio from where I was recording more than just one level at a time sometimes. So, I am at least a little familiar with it. Should be a way up onto the overpass in section three and four. But not as much as I was the last level. Straight out from the alley that you started in is this pipe, which is your way up onto the overpass. You can go down the center section. I wouldn't recommend it though, because at one point during it, there isn't any ground beneath you and you're having to swing from pole to pole. While if you just go to the right side, you have solid ground underneath you the entire way. Although, I don't think I'm going the right direction now. See, this is where I do not know my way around the level as much as I would hope for. So, there's going to be a little bit of fumbling around looking for where to go. And now we are back to worrying about trains. Get down track four to the next access stairway. Should be an alley close by there. Get you back on the roof where you belong. Again, you'll have some on both sides going in opposite directions. You just want to always make sure that one has gone by recently if you're going to be on that track. So that you know you've got a while before the next train. The alley's right there, see it? Take it. And you really want to try to make sure to roll with that fall. You're right out in the open with a bunch of cops shooting at you. So if you do get hurt during the fall and are stunned for that second, any kind of decent difficulty, they're probably going to go ahead and finish you off. This is the only path to go, so you don't have to worry about getting lost or anything like that. And we do have text to read in this elevator, so I'll make sure to leave that on screen so that you get a chance to read that if you want to. This is probably my least favorite level in several different ways. While there is some exciting aspects to it, there's a lot of very boring sections of it also where you're just climbing pipes and then there's one place at the end that is a little bit of a difficulty spike that can be way too hard at times and I will point that section out when I get to it And this jump is one that will fool you and is a little easier not to make it than you would expect. There are a couple of different ways to go here. That red pipe, you can climb up it and jump onto that air conditioning unit and then onto the roof over here. The route that I normally take is to go ahead and climb up here. And I climb up the stuff on this side. It is of course taking me to the same roof because right there is the pipe and the air conditioner that would have brought me over here. And I talked over him. He said that blues are coming to the roof up ahead and I'm going to have to fight. And this is one of the pretty much required fights. I will show you why when I get to it. Well, actually, I'll show you why after it. And this is also one that can be a little tough at times. 
I find it easiest to go up these stairs first and deal with this one that's by himself because it gives you enough cover from the ones below that they can't usually get to you. And there are two down there while there's only the one up here. And usually they end up separated as they come up where you can take them one at a time. And he got me. So even on easy, it's not difficult to let the guys with the guns take you down. This time we'll stay on the bottom and deal with these two first. Even though the one up top can shoot at us while we're dead. Now that it's just him, we'll step close to the wall for some cover until he started to come down. And I'm very surprised that he didn't actually kill me again, so I actually got pretty lucky there. And the reason again that you had to fight people, just like when we had to fight them before, is that there's a long pipe to climb right here. And you can't have them shooting at you the whole time you're climbing it. They will kill you, even on easy. You're doing good. Moth's just a few blocks ahead. And now we're climbing up some pipes in the elevator. This is some of the stuff I was talking about. We just climbed some pipes. There's no real reason, there's no difficulty or challenge to this. There's no reason to make you climb some more again already. And we're nowhere near finished with all of the pipe climbing for this level. In fact, here's two more. and a lot of them are not even short ones. This is a fairly long pipe. There's nothing shooting at you. Uh, even if we were on a harder difficulty, there wouldn't be anything. It's just taking the time to climb up it with absolutely no challenge or risk. You're close to the ball, Faith. But once we get in the mall, it is going to get a little better. And now we have more pipe climbing. So this is the fourth set of two pipes that we've had to climb. Two of those sets were fairly long ones and all of them require a jump over to a new pipe. And that's all just since the last time we've had anyone shoot at us. And that's a bit excessive in my opinion. And there was a cop there with a the gun that we can deal with and a helicopter, but as long as you move fast, what he said was that they had bugged out, you should be able to get to the mall without being shot at, so I'm not even sure why they put those enemies there, because as long as you at all just try to move quickly through the area, they don't get more than a shot or two off at you before he acts like it's a great thing that they're going to leave you alone now. But from this point on, it's a much better level. There is the one difficulty spike right towards the end. And I did not make that jump, because I did not jump at all. But other than that one difficulty spike, and maybe being able to miss seeing where you're supposed to go, the rest of the level is actually pretty fun.